What's up y'all? This is John with Superfly, bsuperfly.com, and today I'm going to show you the easiest way to customize your headings 1 through 6 with Divi. Um, Divi right now has no easy way to style um, all of the headings 1 through 6, so we developed a easy to use plugin to do this. Now you can use CSS to style your headings, uh, but then you have to write quite a bit of CSS to target them for tablet, mobile and our plugin does a couple things that um, the upcoming Divi release um, that they talk about adding headings customizing in that will uh, will not have or at least right now the screenshots they've shown um, they don't have this so there's still uh, a feature or two in ours that you won't get as of right now with with Divi as of right now none of this is possible with Divi um, so yeah let me get into this so if you go to our website bsuperfly.com and you click on the shop link here it's going to take you to our shop page down there you can scroll down be sure to check out our membership you can get 25 percent off and free files over 600 dollars worth of free files in that but here's our divi head header customizer you click on that it takes you to this page here be sure to watch the video and that'll show you um, why you need this plugin and then Speaking of tutorials, I actually went over a little bit of this header customizer in this how to use um, Font Awesome with Divi. But be sure to check out our our blog page because uh, there's a ton of tutorials on here how to do different things that I've made with Divi. And here's that how to use Font Awesome with Divi. In that one, I show you how we go in and we make this gradient header, which is which is using our plugin, and then how to make this icon font awesome icon faded on hover and also how to make these guys down here so that's all um, on our blog section there this is all in here just wanted to show that real quick but yeah i'll dive right into how to use this so it's only 15 bucks for uh for two licenses a dev and a live license or 25 bucks to use it as many times as you would like on as many sites as you want um, so here we are i have a basic just a default Divi setup here and here's my headings one through six by default and that's just all I've done here is just made a basic page and I think that's all I'm going to need from this page and so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to leave this really quick I'm going to be on my dashboard and I'm just going to go to appearance themes or appearance customize and I have a Divi channel theme activated just a blank one that we make but as I load that in, it's going to load my customizer. And you'll notice that normally what I would do is normally I would go to header and navigation, or so, yeah, I would go to general settings, typography, and, um, and normally there'd be um, some heading settings in here. Not many though. But you'll notice back here, I have a new one here called customize heading elements. If I click that, you can see right off the bat I have all h1 through h6 and if i go in here through settings um, there's some op an option here to make modules change last on there but we can start go in and start targeting these and see how these are going to work so here's my preview so a couple really cool things right off the bat if i go in here um, right off the bat i can do desktop tablet or mobile which is great so i'm going to choose desktop right now and then I can start playing around with this. Like, let's say the font size, I want it to be 80 for my H1. And line height, I usually do like 1.1, 1.2, somewhere in that area. I'll do 1.2. I said, oh, 0.1 is fine. Letter spacing, we'll give it some breathing room. We'll make it all caps, why not? And then for font, um, we have all of the Google fonts in here. And so I'm going to choose one that I, that I know is not in, D, in Divi. Divi has um, some selected ones that they use. I don't know if Fiverr Sans is in Divi or not, but we'll use that. That one looks really nice. And then here's my font weight. I have all these weights to choose from. Now it's pulling all this from uh, Google fonts. So it does take a second to, for it to load in, but I think 100 looks pretty nice. We'll do, for the video's sake, we'll do, we'll beef it up a tiny bit um, so you can see what effects. 
So text color, here's where I can choose my text color. Or I can choose a gradient header text color. So in this case, I'll just do maybe the red here. And then for my second color, I'll do this purple. And I want to make it really obvious. So I don't want to do green. But maybe I'll do blue instead. That will make it more obvious in the video. Oh man, that's ugly though. No, nope, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go back to what I was. I'm gonna go back to this perp, this pink here, and then this red one I'll just use like a blue. Okay, there we go. All right, you get the point there. Uh, let me lighten this up a little bit. Well. The curse of being a designer, you just want to get it perfect, right? Okay, and then I have a great direction, vertical, horizontal, uh, diagonal to the right or diagonal to the left. I'm kind of partial to diagonal to the left. It's kind of cool because you still have some remnant of the, of the blue color up there as opposed to just horizontal. It's just going to start all the blue is going to be over here and go there. For this video, I'm going to leave it at that. And then I can twirl up. If my desktop looks good, I can twirl that up. And then for tablet, you know, for desktop I had 80. Maybe for tablet I want it to be 60. So let me bring that down to 60. And then, uh, yeah, let me, let me pull up my tablet preview. Oh, here, we'll just say 60 line height. I'll do 1.1 again, letter spacing. And then I could actually, um, I could actually change font weight, font weight. So maybe on tablet, I want it to be a little heavier, like 400 to 200. And then I could actually change the font if I wanted to. Um, so let me try that out. I'm going to change it to another one that I know isn't in Divi, um, that I used in the Josephine theme, Josephine Sands. There we go. And font weight for that one, we'll do, uh, we'll do 600. And this time I'm going to say a different gradient. We'll have like a little fun with this one. We'll say black to like a, like a mid, like a lighter gray, like so. All right, I'm going to save and publish that and then go to my homepage and see um, how how we did on that. So I'm going to refresh. All right, perfect. There's my gradient header. And then let me sneak in here to tablet. Boom. So on tablet, it switches to the Josephine. It gives me that that other gradient that I wanted. And then on mobile right now, we haven't set anything. So it's going back down to default. So let's do that too. Um, okay, let's see here. And I think for let me go ahead and save. Uh, let's do, uh, I'm going to do horizontal again on, there we go, on the tablet. And then let me, now that I resave, let me reload this and see if it'll show me a preview of the tablet in the background. Huh, it did for a second and then it took it away. I don't know why it's doing that, but something that I'll have the team look at. All right, H1, mobile. So let's go down to mobile here. And uh, I'm going to say 30. Line height, 1.1 still. Letter spacing is 4. And um, I don't know. Let's do, uh, hmm, let's just get crazy and do some kind of brush or something like that. Or I'll just pick one, I don't even know what it does. Crafty Girls. Let's try that. And I'm not going to capitalize it. Oh, I see. Okay, now it's now it's working. Um, we'll gradient that one too. And we'll say... Uh, we'll say diagonal there. And we'll just go... Since we're doing Crafty Girls, we'll go super... 
super girl girls on this one let's do light pink uh, for the first color and then for the second color we'll do like a like a super light blue here or like even this color is kind of cool yeah I like that and then letter spacing I'm gonna bring that in because I don't for this font it looks better closer together like that save and publish and then refresh here and then I'll just shift between different ones here so there's our new heading one on tablet and then here's our new heading one on mobile so as you can see it's super customizable um, so then what you would do is you would go into uh, each one and make your changes so yeah that is how you use that's a rough quick overview of the Divi header customizer plugin but I think just being able to do this is huge um, it just looks so fresh and modern right now so again this is John with Superfly bsuperfly.com be sure to check out our header customizer plugin and yeah stay fly